Does this lipstick make my teeth look yellow? <laughs> anyway, funny. Anyway, uh, if you guys read some of the comments, you guys know why I said that. I mean, it's okay. Everybody has their own opinion, but you know, I'm I like what I like, and uh, some people may not like it, but that's okay. That's their opinion as well. But. I happen to like the lipstick that I'm wearing and I don't think that it makes my teeth look yellow at all. As a matter of fact, my teeth are really white. It also may be just kind of like the lighting that I may be in. But anyway, uh, yeah. Arr. Good morning, friends, and happy Sunday. I am headed downstairs right now to meet my in-laws. So this is our final day here in Sacramento. Tomorrow we will start making our way back to Chicago. I've already booked our hotel room for tomorrow night in Las Vegas. I am not giving away where we are staying, but we will be staying one night in Las Vegas and I'm super excited. I have never stayed in this hotel before. So I was very excited when I was able to book that hotel for both of us and stay there for tomorrow night. So right now I'm going to head downstairs. I'm going to meet my in-laws and we are headed to McDonald's of all places. What do you think? Um, I'm watching. Well, it was watching, but they're off now. It's a commercial. Um, anyway, we're going to McDonald's. Goodness, because they want coffee. So we're headed to McDonald's right now and I kind of have like this cardigan on. This is the cardigan that I bought on Zulily. Uh, whoops, <clears throat> dropped my purse. And it just had come in, remember it had come in like right the day before I was going to leave, which I was so excited because I wanted to bring it with me. So I have it and I'm happy about that. But I'm not exactly sure like today is the right day to wear this because it's only supposed to be like in the 80s, but the temperature is supposed to be starting to drop. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, I still have shorts on. I also have my um, pink, uh, what are these called? My pink, I think these are Tommy Hilfiger's. Yeah, my pink Tommy's, yeah, yes. My Tommy Hilfiger's on um, that match my <clears throat> cardigan. And I just think it's so funny because it actually makes my legs look even more pale than they are. But I don't care, I like them. And my legs are pale, so I can't help that. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna head downstairs go to McDonald's and then come back here and we'll just kind of like play the day by ear because I don't really have much going on. We have to be at, we have to go pick up, well, we have to go to the Walmart and pick up a few things for our little like gathering today. We're having a, just a little like gathering at the campground today um, and visiting with the sister again for a few hours. I'm actually also meeting a friend there today. So she and I are gonna hook up and connect and um, I'm hoping to be able to connect with another um, friend here as well. I don't know, it's all bad timing. I just feel so bad because I am literally at the mercy of my in-laws and um, you know I am their ride so whenever you know they want to go somewhere it's like you know I, I need to be able to take them because that was the whole purpose of me coming so they could rely on me and that way they can just kind of sit back relax and enjoy and they don't have to or he doesn't have to drive you know everywhere and then she doesn't have to get all paranoid and and stuff when he's driving because she does and uh, <clears throat> it's just a vicious cycle between them really um, so I just kind of, like I said, I just kind of feel like I'm at their mercy and whatever chance, what like yesterday plans changed yesterday. And if I would have made plans to meet with somebody uh, during that time period, I wouldn't have been able to do it because again, plans changed here and it was just chaotic. So headed downstairs now, getting McDonald's and then I'll be back up sometime. I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. So bye. My in-laws are behind me. It actually is a beautiful morning out here. It's so nice out here. Nice and cool. You're doing the same thing I just said I was gonna do. This, like, I was coming down the elevator. Really, the other Yeah, and I'm like, I think I'm gonna start packing and transferring my stuff over to my other bag. Take two for Folsom State Prison Museum. Because yesterday it was, um, the volunteer didn't show up to open the museum. So we are checking it out, trying to do it again today. But how exciting. Let's hope it works. Let's hope so. And there's a bunch of people out here waiting to go into the prison to see their loved ones. Kind of sad. 
See all those people? They're waiting to go in to see their loved ones. Carried on when he was under, mm -hmm. like Geraldo had him on deep. Yeah. He was always acting up, but don't, don't do any of that shit. Showboating. Yeah. Yes. I mean, he was definitely crazy. Oh, yeah. He was oh, crazy, yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the craziest one you had. No, I've had crazier. But oh. Danny Trejo was probably the mm -hmm. most successful inmate we had here. He was here in the 70s. Early seventy-two. Mm -hmm. And back to your other question, the brothers were next door. They oh, were the never brothers here. Were, oh, they were never here. They were next door. They were next door. Oh, okay. Back. And now they're down a mule, right? No. Lyle ended up marrying his wife over there. Yeah. And then now they're at uh, R.J. Donovan, which is in San Diego. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Good morning. Good morning. Who's, hey. who's checking in the prison? <laughs> yeah, no, they do have some, we have three prisons on site. This one, 1880. One next door, California State Prison, Sacramento, 1986. Mm -hmm. And about oh, half a mile over that way, there's a women's prison that opened in 2005. Okay, that's all I was in. That's, that's <laughs> that would be the only one you'd get to go to. Right? Women's one here. Well, come on in, folks. So it's $2. I love that Folsom bed and breakfast. There's a shirt for you. Bed and breakfast. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Property of XX Lars Folsom Prison Athletic Department. San Quentin. Oh, stuck in Folsom Prison. There, 66. Oh, that's cool. 70. 68. Gone for a week. 68. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 72 and 77. I got to see 72 and 77. 68, I was overseas. Mm -hmm. huh? He came back three times. Mm -hmm. Played three times here. Well, he, he was here four times. Four mm -hmm. times. Big song, Jerry. A guy named Glenn Sherman, who was a uh, serving time. He wrote the song Grace on Chapel, which is our. So, Robert Church. Company, Walk a Line, Danny Cash. Yeah, Glenn wrote a song about that. Then the next year he went to San Quentin in his performance. That's where he did the man mm -hmm. or the uh, morning. All the weapons that they made. So are these weapons that some of the inmates made? Yes. All of these, yeah. The last one used is over here to the left. Or the, excuse me, the right. Uh-huh. Red dot. See it on the wood? Over here. Uh-huh. That one, uh, I got a friend of mine in the red dot. 1987. Hmm. That was next door at SAC. That was when we were all one prison. Hmm. Carl was wearing his uh, stab proof vest, but the inmate got him about right there. Hmm. Buried three inches of that into his throat. <sighs> Goodness gracious. He went on to hmm. promote the sergeant and retire after 28 years. Wow. Hmm. That's the hanging rope. Execution record. This inmate was hung with rope on the left. Right there. <clears throat> wow. Oh, hangman's rope. The leather restraints. Wow. An inmate. I made that. That's cool. Wow. Original boot found in prison's armory in 1982. These were infamous boots used to punish convicts in the 1890s through the early 1900s. There's a ball and chain. That's real stuff. That's a homemade bomb paraphernalia. All that stuff right there. Wow. Contraband. Ice pick like weapons. That's number one. Number two, the end portion of a prison kitchen spoon has been fashioned as a key by an inmate for use in es escaping from the prison. That was number two. Number three, 
is a fingernail file has been fashioned by an inmate into a knife blade with another piece of metal bent around the file making a bigger handle. There is a leather knife stealth. Wow. Belt buckles. Deadly homemade homemade guns. Wow. So Lloyd Samsell, an old offender at trying to escape from Folsom, tried once again. Old pirate gun. That's the patch. Folsom Prison. It's right there. 12 gauge Marlin pump shotgun. Huh. So this was the archway that used to be right here in Folsom Prison that we kind of walk through. Now that like the gate is right here, we just kind of walk through to go. Here's some inmates, mug shop book photos. Don't know who those people are. Reward, dollars, gun coins. Oh, these are Folsom Prison movies. Warner Brothers movies. Oh, movies filmed at Folsom Prison. The Folsom Prison Story. Inside the Walls of Folsom Prison. Riot in Cell Block 11. Lonely Hearts. Convicts 4. Red is the Color of Snow. The FBI Story. Domino Principle. The Jericho Mile. Captain America. 1979. Hmm. The Outlaws. 48 Hours. Yep, there it is. Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy. I was right yesterday when I said that. True Believer, another 48 hours. American Me, Frankie and Johnny, Michelle Pfeiffer, Al Pacino, Digstown. Here are some of the inmates you may have heard of. Carl Chasson, or Chaseman. Ralph Sonny Barger, Barger. He was a leader of Hell's Angels Motorcycle Gang, entered Folsom in the early 1970s. Danny Trejo served time in Folsom in the 1970s. It was rumored that he had ties to Mexican Mafia while there. Now an, now an actor, he has appeared in Con Air, Heat, Reindeer Games, and Spy Kid. These are just a few of many movies he has been in. Timothy Leary, Charles Manson, Rick James, which I knew that. Danny Trejo. Yep. Oh, see, there's the gates. I'm going to go down there. James, American singer, dancer, songwriter, musician, funk music, 70s and 80s. That was him right there. And there's his guitar. Wow. There's some of the, I probably want to say visiting rooms. Yeah. More movie stuff. Officers and guards. Wow. Yeah. Convicts returning to cell block after working all day in Lower Yard where the rock quarry was located. Photo was taken in 1910. 
This is the quarry rock. That's what it's made from. The end of the world. The gray granite walls. These are all things made by the inmates. A potato chip purse. Oh, potato chip baby booties. A cat carved in European jewelry. Wow. Early inmate publications. Wow. This hand sculpted dragon was made from soap and cardboard by a prisoner from CSP Sacramento Prison donated to the Big House Prison in 2016. Look at that spider. Wow, look at that. Huh. Some talented, talented inmates, that's for sure. These roses made by Danny Parsons, AKA Double O, the Rose Man. Roses made from eight sheets of toilet tissue and colored from highlighters and markers and lots of time, lo lots of time and love. Each bears a sweet rose scent. Huh, it's interesting. Folsom Prison, looks like, what it looks like in their jail cell. And another one right there. Wow, and the covered wagon. More little things made out of like picks. Wow, that's really cool. This is a lock from Folsom Prison Railroad Gate. Wow, look at the size of that key. <coughs> that is pretty cool. Wow. And that is something one of the inmates made as well. It's made out of toothpicks. And it's just a big, huge, like, carousel. Wow. Unreal. It's called Wheel of Fortune. Oh, interesting. This hot rod was manufactured by an inmate at the California State Prison, Sacramento. Look at that thing. Early day barber chair. This is a mock setup. By wagon, and bath days were few and far between. Hmm. Water was limited for drinking and cleaning of buckets. Two buckets were provided, one for drinking and the other for toilet facilities. Little thought was given to comfort. <laughs> During prison crowding, these two men's cells housed up to four men. A reporter for a California newspaper was permitted to inspect the cell block in 1880 and informed his readers, God help the criminal doomed to confinement in those cells. They will never see another light but that of which a flickering candle yes. produces. Oh, movies. And it is the Murphy walls around the prison. I told you, I knew it was a Murphy. And were built 15 feet, American River serving as a natural border on the fourth side. Until the walls were completed, prisoners were kept behind boundary lines and forced by dead shot tower guards wow. armed with Gatling machine guns or either a Henry or Winchester rifle. Discipline was enforced with the use of wooden clubs or lead tipped canes. With the punishment for rule infractions. There's all the Johnny Cash stuff. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. For instance, breakfast was a grain cereal and mm. black strap molasses. From left to right, Johnny Cash in front of Eastgate. Johnny and June on the main yard, one tower behind Johnny. Johnny at Eastgate. And sweet tea. Bread was served once a day. In later years, a big picture of him right there. And, vegetable gardens began producing. and, and then Johnny Cash. Started to bear, which improved the overall right quality. There. On Christmas, Thanksgiving, and the 4th of July, a special meal was... Johnny Cash performed for the inmates of Folsom Prison, 1968 and 72. He was never an inmate in state prison. He served a short time in county jail in his younger days. Wow.
Look at the wild turkeys again. Wow, wild turkeys. Oh, I see. Songs, music-wise. Okay. Music. Yep. The Johnny Cash Trail. I forgot. That's what he said. He called it the Johnny Cash Bridge, but it's the Johnny Cash Trail. Now we're going to go to the Dam Dam. The Folsom Dam. Where you can see it. Okay, so we made it to the campground, Folsom Campground at Beals Point or something like that. So I'll kind of show you guys around a little bit of the campground and we have lunch planned and all kinds of stuff. And then I have a friend coming to get me at like 2.30. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I just tried calling Brian, but he sold his car. So his little um, 67 Galaxy that we had at the house, he's selling it and it's going to be gone when I get home. So it's kind of sad and sad for him, but oh well. Anyway, and then that little guy, he went to Pensacola this weekend and he just got back today. So but anyway, here's the campground and here's their little camper. So this is really nice. And I wore jeans today and my sweater, but whatever. Yeah, and they have their little tent and stuff set up. It's nice. I don't know if they're back there or not. But oh yeah, there's Lisa. A little further. So this is our little are picnic stuff. We have chips, I barbecue, regular, and yeah, wavy. We okay. Yeah, that's easier. And then we have buns, and Lisa made Italian beefs, which is so good. Oh my gosh, everything looks so good. And it's just something really simple, quick, and easy for us. That way we don't have to have a big mess or anything like that so but yeah lots of fun I like camping Brian and I always liked camping but let's see if anybody's excited to be over here uh, let's see there's uh Keith and Chris and Steven and Barb hi, Ange. <laughs> hi Barb <laughs> and that is um the new that that's the sister so we're all here together, having a good time. So is this, this is Folsom Lake then, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. And then it goes all the way. This is Folsom Lake. With, uh, beaches or, you know, places like this. Okay. Right by my house where people go all the time. Oh, how nice. Is it that way? On the other side? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And we should, Folsom Lake is a great place to go. Yeah, yeah. Not me, of course. Oh, of course. How neat. <laughs> Folsom Lake. That's pretty. Really pretty. It is. Uh huh. Real pretty. I love that. It's so pretty. Pretty, pretty water. Yeah, this would be nice to come down like right in the morning for me and, and when nobody can. You know. Yeah. Alrighty, so here's your big debut. <laughs> Say hello. hello. <laughs> this is Beth and she met me here at Folsom State Park or what is it, Beals State Park? Beals Point. Beals Point, Point State Lake. Park and she um, follows me on YouTube so she met up with me to say hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> and it's so cool to meet her. <laughs> it's so neat. We love all that stuff. Isn't that kind of fun? Oh my gosh. My daughter and I <laughs> talk about doing it all the time. Yeah, isn't that fun? Alrighty, so I think we are starting to wrap things up here at the campground and then I think we're going to be taking the sister back to her place and then I think we're going to be staying there for a few minutes and then visiting with her like kids and family and stuff so that's what we're going to be doing so that's going to be really really nice but I really need to get a couple of pictures of like the brothers and their sister together so that they have them um, and I know that there was another brother here too but he and his wife um, I don't know what they're like I don't know what's going on with them so they, they didn't like show up with all of us I don't they're kind of doing their own thing but anyhow I was hoping to get a picture of the brother all three of the brothers with their sister because that would have been nice but anyway nonetheless uh, so we are I think our is kind of packing it up and we're heading to the uh, apartment now and I have to pee and I'm thirsty and I still have a quite a slight headache. But anyway, it was so, oh, holy crap. Is that a snake in the tree? Um, I don't know if that's a snake or not. It looks really dark and it looks like it's like curving. Um, I don't think that it is. Right now it doesn't look like it is because it doesn't look like it's moving. 
So I'm gonna say no. Holy crap. But anyway. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> I'm like freaking out because I thought it was a freaking snake. And I'm like, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, snake. But it's not. It's not moving, so I don't think it's a snake. Anywho. So it was so nice to meet Beth. She came out here. She lives about 20 minutes from here, if that. She lives on the other side of the river or on the lake, Lake Folsom, which is right here. She lives on the other side. And she um, like drove over here to meet me, which I thought was so sweet. Thank you so much, Beth. I totally appreciate it. You are the sweetest person, and I'm so glad that I met you. Um, and I'm so glad that we had an opportunity to meet up because as you know, you were sitting here when plans changed just like that so uh yeah it was so nice meeting you so thank you so much you definitely made my day and you made my in-laws feel so great too because they get worried about me meeting like people that i don't know <laughs> so anyway but thank you it was so nice meeting you and uh yeah so i think we're heading out of here i'm i'm ready to go if they are or when they are Ooh, we have a long drive tomorrow too so i wanted to get back to my hotel room so i could kind of start packing things up too and uh <sighs> yeah I'm I need a coke again because my head is hurting and it's so funny I've had really bad headaches the past couple of days at being here and I don't know why but um and I've I just popped uh, some Tylenol a few minutes ago and I need some more mm, I don't want to take any more Tylenol though I just need a coke so all right that's not a snake because it has not moved <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know because remember I was like freaking out. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a snake because he's he's not moving. I mean snakes would move, right? Ooh, they're so gross. I don't that's not a snake. No, nope, no snake. Okay, bye. Alrighty guys, so I am back in my room. It is nine o'clock at night. It is a lot later than I wanted to get back to my room, but this was the last day that we had to spend with their sister and what an amazing day we had. It was so much fun and it was so good to see her and meet her and we got to actually meet her kids which would be Brian's cousin and then of course Brian's dad's like, um, you know, he's their uncle and all that good stuff. Huge, huge thing. It's so amazing to see all of that and we are just so happy that we were able to come down here and meet everybody and and give the brothers an opportunity to meet their sister. It's just been an amazing, amazing day. But, um, oh, and I got to meet two of you guys, which is amazing too. And um, yeah, oh my gosh, it was so good to meet you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming out here and meeting me and spending time with me. And um, yeah, I, you guys are amazing. It's like, like I said, I, I love YouTube for so many reasons. Number one, because I love to share with you guys, but when I get to meet you guys and your friendship, your meeting me turns into a friendship, that's what I'm trying to say, um, I love that even more. Um, but now I have got to um, start getting my stuff together, my clothes, and get my suitcase together and start picking out clothes that I'm gonna wear for the next four days <laughs> so I have to put that in my suitcase and kind of figure it out from there and uh, because tomorrow night we are um, gonna be in Vegas and then Tuesday um, Hoover Dam Grand Canyon Four Corners all that good stuff we're gonna start making our way back home and if I'm lucky I will have them dropped off at their house on Friday and then uh, by noon <laughs> and then um, I can start heading home as well so that's the goal. Tomorrow is our, our journey home. We're leaving California. And I'm actually sad because it's like, even though, <clears throat> even though the trip is not over yet, it's actually coming to a really quick end because our time here in California is over. So, um, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit today. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Just a little heads up, though. I may not be able to upload videos throughout the week because we are going to be traveling again and probably not a lot. Of footage going to be going on but i will definitely film what i can but probably won't be able to put up videos um like i've been putting up so i'm going to do my best though but it just depends on the timing and and all that good stuff but anyway thank you guys so much again i'll see you guys in my next one bye